Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this beautiful angel, which can be a tree topper for your Christmas tree or can become a special present for Christmas, for wedding, for uh, christening or other special occasion. The height of the angel is about 10-11 inches. And I'm going to crochet it using this cotton thread size 10 and the hook that is almost 2 millimeters. We are going to start with the head and then we'll uh, crochet the body and the skirt without cutting off the thread. We'll start the head with a magic loop which we'll make like this. Thread crisscross around two fingers, making the first stitch. And now in this stitch, we are going to make six uh, single crochets. We'll start with the uh, chain, uh, which will count as the first single crochet and five more. So now I have three, four, five, Six. Now we can close this ring and um, we'll make a slip stitch in this first chain that we made. So six stitches. Now in each of these stitches we are going to make two. So in the next round there will be 12 single crochets. Two. four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Now we are going to make uh, the round of eighteen. Uh, single crochets uh, and uh, I'm going to use this end of the thread as a marker you can use a special uh, pin for that uh, but I just uh, like to use the thread and we are making increases this way in the first single crochet we just make one crochet the next two in the next one in the following two so we are making six increases in each round one two one and two in the next instead of 12 we have 18 one two in the next one and two in the last one I'll reposition my marker and uh, we'll start the next round. In the next round, there will be 24 single crochet stitches. Once again, six increases this way. Uh, one single crochet stitch, one, and two in the next one. One, one, two in the next one. So instead of uh, every three stitches, we're making four. And we'll repeat it three more times. One, one, two. One, one, two. One. One and two. And now we are going to make the last round of increases. Uh, so we'll make one stitch, two, 
three without changes and in the fourth we'll make two so instead of four we'll have five stitches one 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 two in the next one 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 and two this way at the end of the round we are going to have 30 single crochet stitches two now one 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 two and uh, the last time one 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 and two so now we have a round of 30 stitches and we have five rounds the next six rounds uh, we'll make without any changes so six rounds of 30 single crochet stitches just crochet around and around i will do the same and then i will show you how to continue here I have finished those six rounds and all together I have 11 um, and now we can start reducing the number of um, stitches which we'll uh, be doing mirroring what we did when we were making uh, increases. So we'll start with one stitch, one stitch and stitch, one and then two together. Once again, three without changes and two together. One, two, three, two together. This way, instead of uh, every five single crochet stitches, we are going to have four. 24 stitches we should have at the end of this round. And the last time, one, 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 and two. I won't reposition my marker anymore. I'll just continue to the next round where we'll have 18. So we are making one stitch, one and two together. One in one, one in one, two together. This way, instead of every four, we are going to get three. Two together. And uh, three more times, one, one, together, one, one, and uh, two, yoked together, one, and uh, one, and uh, two. And uh, now we can move on to the round of 12. So we'll be making one stitch, two together, one, two together, one, two together, one, two, one, two, one, and two. And now we need to stop and uh, fill the head uh, with some cotton, uh, real cotton, synthetic, whatever you have, fiber fill. I use this straw to help me with my work makes things easier 
when the head is filled we'll make the last round uh, where there will be only six uh, stitches left so we are making two stitches together all the way around one two together try not to include that fiber fill in our work if possible five and the last one now we have six left so the head is ready now here i have um, another angel that i have already uh, made but not finished uh, so here is the head that we have just made as you can see the body is um, uh, crocheted the same way as the head the only difference is the number of rounds of 30 stitches that we make without changes so now on six stitches that we have here at the end of the head we'll make a round of 12 a round of 18 making increases the same way as we've been making here a round of 24 and a round of 30 so you have four rounds after that we'll need to make 10 rounds of 30 without any changes i'm not going to show it all not to make the video too long if you need to go back and see how we were making the head it's the same thing so once again round of 12 18 24 30 and then 10 more without any changes and then i will show you how to continue well uh, i have finished these 10 rounds without any changes all together i have 14 in the body and uh, i've been using this um, just piece of thread uh, as a marker and now we can start reducing uh, the number of stitches and um, uh, we'll be doing it the same way uh, as we were uh, in the head so at first we'll make three stitches without any changes just stitch and stitch and two together one two three and two together instead of every five we are making four so there will be 24 at the end of the round uh, please continue working this round and then i'll show you how to continue i have finished this round of 24 stitches and now we are going to do something different in the next round we are going to be using only these interior parts of stitches uh, we are going to continue um, decreasing the number of stitches in the next round there will be 18 so we are making uh, one single crochet one single crochet and two together so instead of every four we'll have three once again we are using only interior parts of these stitches this is important we'll need the exterior parts later for the skirt so continue working like this uh, until the end of the round here we have 18 stitches in the next round they will be 12 and now it's not important whether we are using the whole stitch or just one um, thread i'm going to continue using just one thread but once again it's not important because it's going to be under the skirt so we are making one stitch two together one stitch two together continue working like this uh, four more times now when we have 12 stitches left we need to stop and uh, fill the body with fiber fill or whatever you are using and uh, once again i'm using this straw makes work a little easier 
and um, when the body is filled all we um, have left to do is to make the last round here of uh, six single crochet stitches so we are making two stitches together one stitch two together two and continue like this four more times and uh, this is it the body is ready now we are going to start making a skirt and uh, for the skirt for the first round of skirt we are going to be using uh, these uh, stitches the exterior part of stitches that we left in uh, this round first of all we need to get there uh, and um, i don't want to cut off the thread so i'm just going to be using slip stitches a few doesn't matter how many just don't make uh, it too tight uh, this part is going to be under the skirt so it won't be seen so our job here is just to get to this first stitch of that round of 18 okay here it is so I will make the first slip stitch here and we can remove this thread. Now, uh, we actually have 24 stitches left here because we were on uh, the round of 24 moving towards 18. And on those 24 stitches, we are going to make 12 groups of two double crochet stitches, chain one, two double crochets. We'll start with chain three as the first double crochet stitch. And in the same chain, uh, we'll make in the same stitch, uh, we'll make another double crochet. Chain one in the same stitch, we are making two more double crochets. Now, without any chains, we are going to skip one stitch and in the next stitch, we'll make two double crochets chain one two double crochets without any chains we are skipping one stitch moving on to the next one and we are repeating the same pattern two double crochets chain one two double crochets and continue like this until the end of the round. I have now finished those 12 groups and I'll make a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning of the round. Like this. The next round will be exactly the same except for the beginning. At the beginning of the round, we'll need to make uh, two slip stitches, first in the second double crochet and next in this chain, because we need to uh, get to the center of this group. And now chain three, a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. the same in the next group just instead of first chain three there will be a double crochet then chain one and two double crochets and moving on to the next one two double crochets chain one two double and continue like this until the end of the round at the end of the round uh, do not forget to make a slip stitch in the third chain uh, here i have finished that second round the next two rounds will also be the same uh, every round will start with two slip stitches then chain three as the first double crochet and a double crochet 
Now, instead of chain one, we'll be making chain two. In most rounds, we will be chain two. And two double crochets. Moving on to the next group and making the same group of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And continue working like this, this round and the next round. Now I have finished these four rounds. The next two rounds once again will be the same. We'll start them as usual with two slip stitches, chain three, one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet stitches. In the next two rounds between these groups, we are going to be making chain one. So the same group, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochets, chain one, and continue like this, uh, this round and the next. Now I have finished six rounds and uh, one more time, the next two rounds will be the same. So two slip stitches, chain three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. And this time they will be chain two between the groups and uh, we'll repeat the same two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two and continue working like this uh, until the end of this round and one more round here I have finished eight rounds and now for a change the next seven rounds will be the same so we'll make two slip stitches chain three a double crochet chain two and two double crochets but now instead of chain two we'll be making chain three between these groups and once again two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain three and continue working this way we need seven rounds like this I have finished these uh, seven rounds and all together uh, there are 15 now in the skirt. Um, we'll need to make one round more that is very similar to what we did with one slight difference. After two slip stitches we'll make as always chain three and uh, a double crochet but now between these groups of two double crochets oh we are going to make chain three not chain two and the rest is the same two double crochets chain three between the groups two double crochets chain three inside the group two double crochets chain three we'll continue working like this until the end of the round and now the 16th round is ready uh, we have two more rounds uh, to finish the skirt in the first of those rounds in this chain three, 
that we just made between two and two double crochets, we are going to make a single crochet stitch, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. In between those groups, we are going to make chain four. So first of all, as usual, two slip stitches because we need to get to the chain. Now chain one is the first single crochet stitch and chain three. So we'll start with chain four here. A single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and now one, two, three, four, chain four, and we are moving to the next group, to the chain of three, and we are making a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and chain four between those groups. And continue working like this all the way around. At the, the end of the round, uh, after chain four, the slip stitch will go in the first chain, which we considered to be uh, the first single crochet, like this. And uh, now the last round. In the last round, uh, we are going to be doing the same as we were just doing in this chain of three, this time in the chain of four. Uh, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. In chains three on the sides um, of this central uh, group, we are going to make one single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. The same here. Uh, and between those groups, we'll be making chain two, a single crochet, which will include both chains of the previous two rounds and chain two again. So first we'll make one slip stitch to get uh, under this chain. Now chain one is the first single crochet and at the end of this round we'll make a slip stitch here and chain three. A single crochet in the same chain. Now we are moving on to this chain four. A single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three again, a single crochet. All those four single crochets in the same chain of four. Moving on to this chain three and uh, making a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Now chain two, a single crochet, which will include these two chains. Chain two, and we'll continue with the same pattern in uh, uh, chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. In chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and in chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Now chain two, a single crochet around these two chains. Chain two and continue working like this until the end of the round. At the end of the round, slip stitch 
in this first chain and this skirt will be uh, ready. And uh, now to the wings. Uh, these are the wings that I made earlier. We'll start them with a magic loop and then we'll make the first part first, then the second, and then we'll make the two rounds um, around uh, both wings. Uh, as you can see, the uh, pattern is very similar to what we used on the skirt with some uh, small differences. We'll start with a magic loop. like this in uh, this magic loop we'll make chain three as the first double crochet and we'll need to make another one to separate the double crochets that we are going to make so the second double crochet chain one the third chain one four, chain one, five, chain one, and six. So this is the beginning of the first wing. We can enclose um, the loop a little. Now, uh, on the sides of the wings, there will always be um, a double crochet or chain three instead of a double crochet. We are going to be using them later for the last two rounds. So we'll start with chain three. We'll turn the work over. And now we are working in these spaces between the double crochets. We'll be making a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet. And we'll repeat it uh, four more times. A double crochet, chain one, a double crochet, a double, chain one, a double crochet, uh, the same thing in the next space, and uh, now in this last space, between the two double crochets, a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet. And uh, um, we remember to make um, an extra double crochet on the side. We are making it in the third chain this time, like this. Okay. Now chain three, once again for a double crochet on the side, and chain one because now these groups that we just made five groups are going to be separated by chain one so we are working between those two double crochets we are making uh, a double crochet chain one a double crochet chain one and once again a double crochet chain one a double crochet chain one and uh, we'll repeat it three more times a double crochet chain one and double crochet chain one and uh, the last time A double crochet, chain one, a double crochet, chain one, and we need a double crochet at the end, once again, in the third chain. This is what we have so far. This is where we are now, and now we are switching to this pattern that we were using in the skirt of two double crochets. Uh, separated by chains and two double crochets again, five groups. Chain three at the beginning as usual. Now um, between those two double crochets, we are making two double, chain one, two double crochet stitches. 
Now, without any chains, we are moving to the next group and we'll repeat the pattern. Two double, chain one, two double. Repeat it three more times and make a double crochet at the end. In the next round, we'll be doing almost the same, but we will be chain one between these groups. So we'll start with chain three plus chain one. On the other side, between the groups of two and two double crochets, we'll make two double crochets, chain one, two double. chain one between the groups in the next space of chain one we'll make two double crochets chain one two double crochets chain one and continue working like this three more times here is the end of this round and we'll start the next one with chain three plus one and we'll repeat our usual group of two double crochets but now chain two and two double crochets so now this is going to look more like what we used in the skirt chain one still between the groups and uh, in the next one, in the next group, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain one. Continue like this until the end of this row. This row is ready. And now we'll start with chain three plus two because we are going to uh, make chain two between the groups. So the groups are as usual two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Now chain two and the same group, two double crochets, chain two two double chain two finish this row uh, this way please and now to the last row of this side of the wings um, chain three plus two this time between these two double crochets and the next two double crochets we are going to make chain three and uh, two double crochets still chain two between those groups and uh, two double crochets chain three and two double chain two finish this uh, row and cut off the thread so now one wing is ready uh, before we move on we need to turn the work over because this is how we started work and now we'll continue working in this uh, magic ring we'll attach the thread we'll make the first stitch chain three and one and now a double crochet chain one 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 and the last double crochet we should have six of them 
and uh, now just continue working the same way as we worked here in this wing uh, using it um, as a guide or um, uh, rewinding uh, the video if necessary I will do the same uh, I will finish the second wing and then I will show you uh, how to continue And uh, now, when the wings are ready, we can start working on the last two rounds. So in each chain three, uh, between these two and two double crochets, we'll be making a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Between these groups, we are going to make chain four. On these sides of the wings, in each uh, double crochet that we have on the sides, we are going to make a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. We are here at the corner, and the corners will be similar to what we are going to do here in chain three. So we'll start with chain one is the first single crochet, chain three, and uh, we'll make another single crochet here in the same place. We'll finish making this um, corner group later at the end of this round. Now we'll move to the first chain three or double crochet uh, that we made on the sides of the wings. We'll make a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Same in the next one, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. And continue working like this uh, until you get to this corner of the wings. I have uh, now finished this part of the round and um, I'm at the corner where I will make a single crochet, the usual group, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. Now, without any chains, we are moving um, to the center of this group where we have chain three, and we'll make the same, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. Between these groups, we are going to be making chain four. And we'll move to the next one. Single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four between, and continue working like this on this side, um, make um, a single crochet, chain three in each of these double crochets, and continue uh, with the same pattern on the other side. I will do the same, and then I will show how to make the last round. At uh, the end of the round, uh, after we, ma we made this usual group in the fifth um, group of two and two double crochets, we'll make a single crochet in the corner, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, and then a slip stitch in the first of these chains that we made at the beginning of the round, like this. In the, the last round, in chain three, we are going to make a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. In chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. In chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Between these groups, there will be chain one 
a single crochet that will go around these two chains and chain one. Here on the sides, in each chain three, we are going to make four single crochets, except for here in the middle, because we don't want uh, to have too much here in uh, these two chain three, we'll make just one single crochet, one single crochet, and then we'll continue. So to start this round, once again, we are in the corner, we'll make a slip stitch in this chain three, we'll make chain one as the first single crochet, at the end of the round, we'll make a slip stitch here, and chain three, another single crochet here in the same chain. And we'll finish this part later at the end of this round. Now, in each of these chains, we are making four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Moving on to the next one. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And I want to show to do in uh, what to do in the middle. So I'll keep going. One, two, three, four. Four here. One, two three, four, four in the next one, one, two, three, four, we are getting a nice thick edge, and now we are here almost in the middle, so in this chain three, right before our magic uh, loop, we'll make a single crochet, and another single crochet in the next one. And after that, we'll continue with four single crochets until we get here to the corner. Here um, I am at the corner in chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. In chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and in chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Now we are not doing anything between this group and the next group, so we'll, we are doing the same thing in a chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. And in uh, the last chain and chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Now, here, between these groups, we are making chain one, a single crochet that goes around two chains, like this, chain one, and continue working the same pattern uh, until the end of the round. At the end, uh, when we reached this corner where we started, we started here, we'll make uh, a, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. The usual group here, single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and then a slip stitch in this first chain, which we made at the beginning of this round. 
and this is it the wings are ready and now it's time to make the arms um, two arms that will look like this uh, about 27 rounds uh, made on uh, eight single crochets crocheted around and around I'll start with chain five four five uh, we'll make a ring and uh, in this ring eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and eight and now we'll be just working around beginning with this first single crochet and uh, making sure we do not make any extra stitches it's easy to do just work around like this uh, stopping from time to time and uh, counting the number of stitches that you are making also when you make uh, about eight or ten rounds stop and put a little cotton in uh, the arm not much just enough to hold shape but the arms need to be flexible and uh, when you have 27 uh, rounds uh, cut off the thread and uh, with a needle uh, close the remaining stitches like this using just the outside of each stitch like this you can do two together and like this uh, probably enough and uh, i'll just put the end uh, of the thread here inside and can cut it off ready make another arm exactly like this one when everything is done we need to starch the wings and the skirt uh, we do not starch the parts that have something inside uh, because uh, um, otherwise they will be just too hard to starch we mix two tablespoons of cornstarch with uh, a little cold water and add it all to a cup of boiling water stir it well uh, let it cool a little and uh, it can be used to starch our work it's uh, extremely important to find something to give the right shape to the angel i for example have this structure made of um, a metal uh, cocktail shaker then a plastic fruit cup and uh, a little aluminum foil uh, everything covered in plastic when the skirt um, is starched uh, take it out of the starch solution uh, wring it out very well um, put it on the found shape and um, spread it very well uh, let it dry when everything is dry you need to iron the wings and the bottom of the skirt and then use a glue gun to put it all together like attach uh, the arms in two places like this and attach the wings to the back and to the skirt of the angel like this uh, for the hair I use this uh, thick uh, yarn uh, of yellowish color which I cut in pieces of about uh, 10 uh, inches long and uh, I sew them on a, a small piece of uh, cotton fabric 
uh, for decoration, I use this silver ribbon and uh, uh, these uh, silver colored branches from which I cut off pieces and make uh, a bouquet. This is it for today. I hope you liked the video uh, and the angel that we made together. If so, please push the like button. And if you have not subscribed and want to be uh, informed of all the new developments on the channel, please subscribe and push the bell button. See you next time. Bye-bye.